guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and this is CA1, Chapter 17, Futures and Options. And this is very, oh yeah, this is a very short chapter um, on these derivatives. So let's see what they are. What we are going to look at are what are futures versus forwards, and then what is an option. Okay. So a future and a forward, they're quite similar. Um, the big difference being that a future is standard, standardized, and is traded on an exchange, whereas a forward is non-standardized and is traded over the counter. But both of these uh, derivatives are contracts between two parties to trade a specific asset at a set future date at a specified price. Now that definition is important. And as you learn how to do more exotic um, derivatives, this will kind of stay as your core and you'll start adding stuff to it. And then finally, let's look at what is the difference between an option and a future. Um, interesting thing is, both of them are, you know, you both enter into these contracts or these derivatives to purchase an, uh, an asset in the future. However, when you enter into a future, you have the obligation to trade. So whether the price goes up or whether the price goes down, you're obligated to trade. With an option, however, you have the right to trade. So when that time comes, you can say, hang on, I actually want to back out of this trade. I don't want to do it. And you'll do this if the price moves against you. But if the price is for you, then you will enter into it and you can make your money. But now, this option sounds like a much better deal than the future. Well, not really, because in an option, you have to pay a premium. So you have to pay for this right. Whereas in the future, you don't have this premium. So if you are 100% guaranteed or 100% sure that this price is going to rise, you're obviously going to go for the future rather than the option. But if you're a little bit risky and you're like, it's going to be a 50-50 on this move, then the option is the safer bet. And this premium allows for a margin for the writer. So the person who takes, who writes out the option, who you buy it from, they're taking on quite a bit of risk. Whereas with the future, there's going to be risk for both people. So what we're going to see with the future is when you take it out, there's unlimited risk. But the option is, the risk is limited to how much you pay for your premium. And then futures are traded over the exchange, as mentioned above, and the option can be both. It can be exchange traded or over the counter. And sure, it's, it's a very interesting, these things are very interesting. This is just a quick introduction. We haven't touched into the mathematics. We haven't touched into the whole philosophy of who should buy options and who shouldn't. But I hope you enjoyed this very introductory um, chapter on derivatives. If you do ST5 or F105, you'll go into this in much, much further depth. And also you should remember this all from CT8. But y'all stay tuned as next time we will be looking at collective investment schemes. Thanks for watching. Cheers.